Salut, Yenan et bienvenue au corps pour aujourd'hui. Alors, donc, on a déjà fait beaucoup du module. Donc, on a euh, parlé de notre apparence et personnalité ou caractère. On peut décrire pas seulement la famille, mais euh, qui on s'entend bien avec, qui on se dispute avec. Euh, on peut parler de l'amitié. Et en ce moment, on parle de, de sortir avec les autres. Alors, on va continuer avec ça aujourd'hui. We learned last lesson of this. We learned through our language, asking questions, um, how to invite people out. We said how important it was. Today then, we're going to do some reading and listening on this to test you. She'll be listening to real French people, talking about going out, what they want to do, where they want to go, and you'll have to show me how well you understand it. So, loads to do today, year nine. Let's make a start. On y va. Et voilà, vous savez ce qu'il faut faire. S'il vous plaît, year nine, Copier les dates pour moi, ou plutôt inventer les dates, parce que je ne sais pas la date, et copier le titre du genre. Et aujourd'hui, euh, le contrôle de post-it, c'est tu les mots de question. Comment demander une question Donc, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, mettez Mr. Venice sur pause, essayez de répondre aux questions ici. Bon courage, on y va Alors, on commence mes petits. Donc, right guys, as I said on the first slide, we're testing you. And how well you can understand people arranging to meet up, arranging to go out. We're going to do, first off, we'll blitz your vocabulary. We'll have a little vocab test. And then uh, we're going to do reading and a listening today to see what you can do. All of this will test you on the vocab for today. So if you're not sure about it, you can't really remember last lesson, you're going to have to rewind. Go back to last lesson. Watch like the language learning part or the verbal volleyball part or just like a little bit to get your mind back into it. And then come back to this lesson. If you think I'm ready for that. Let's do it. Alors donc, le contrôle de post-it. Alors donc, numéro 1. Where, c'est... U. Voilà, voilà, tu vois, hein? U, ça veut dire where. When is quand. Now you've seen this for years. We learned in year 7. C'est quand ton anniversaire. When's your birthday. Quand is the keyword. And then what is... Qu'est-ce que... Literally, you say in French. What is this that... Qu'est-ce que tu aimes. What is this that you like. I love it. Alors... Do you want to go? Remember, there's three ways to ask a question. So, you can either say, Tu veux aller? And go up with your voice. Tu veux aller au cinéma? Tu veux aller uh, uh, au concert? Or, you can um, add my favorite word, Est-ce que? Donc, est-ce que tu veux aller? Literally, is it that you want to go? And then the final way we said was the toughest way. I want you to use all three when it comes to your speaking exam. Instead of saying, do you, like we do in English, You don't do that. You just swap the verb and the subject around. So instead of saying, do you want to go? You say, want you to go. Veux-tu aller? Veux-tu aller? Voilà. Right. If you got all six of those, a brilliant start. You're going to need that because we're going to start by blitzing your vocabulary year nine. Hello, mes petits. Right, guys, before we get to your vocab test, here's 15 words from last lesson. How well do you know them? You know how this works by now. You're going to need to put me on pause. Have a little revision, and then when you restart me, I'll count you down. You gotta go for it. This is how it sounds. Quand, when, où, where? Est-ce que tu veux rencontrer? Do you want to meet up? Qu'est-ce que what? Tu veux faire? Do you want to do? Boom. See that? That's what I want from you guys. Put me on pause. Revise. When you restart me, I will count you down. Allons, mes petits. So put me on pause as soon as I say allez and see what you can do. Toi, de un, allez. Hello, me petit chauffeur. Right, guys, so you know our vocab, but remember this links into the speaking exam and actually your general life. When you go to France, you're going to ask people to go places. You're going to ask out all the fit girls, all fit boys, whatever you're into. So what you, all the ugly boys and girls, probably better for you, more attainable girls. Anyway, alors donc, il faut demander les questions ici et ici. Uh, dans, dans les mots bleus, vous avez les réponses différentes. Voilà, donc, ce qu'il faut faire... Demander les questions, chercher, trouver la réponse. For this, right? No preparation. I want you to go for it. As soon as I count down, you've got to start. I'll do the first two for you. Donc, quand est-ce qu'on va se retrouver? Quand means when. Oh my god. Oh, on va se retrouver ce soir. Uh, où est-ce qu'on va se retrouver? Devant le cinéma. Right, you're going to die with this. Alright, no preparation. Toi, deux, un, allez! Hello, mes petits. Right now, a real challenge. I will give you a minute to prepare for this because it's really, really tough. C'est exactement la même activité, mais cette fois, j'ai mis 
les mots en bleu dans le bon ordre. C'est le ordre correct. Il ne faut pas chercher, non, donc 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Voilà, mais le problème, j'ai pris les mots clés, il faut inventer les fins des phrases. Par exemple, quand est-ce qu'on va se retrouver on va se retrouver uh, cet après-midi à 2h. See that, it's meant to be two words, but I put a bit of flair in it. Numéro 2, où est-ce qu'on va se retrouver On va se retrouver devant le cinéma au centre-ville. Right. Voilà, right guys, that's what I want you to do. So, put me on pause, prepare yourself, and then await my instructions. Allons mes petits, right guys, so, you should be ready to go on your portable. Put a minuteur on and see how quickly you can do this. See what you can do. I'll count you down. Put me on pause. Time yourself. Bon courage. Toi, deux, un. Allez. Allo, mes petits. Right, guys. So, you've revised the vocab and we've started putting it into our key questions. So, best time now to really test you to see what you've got. Now, you know how a vocab test works and you know how it works on lockdown as well absolutely no cheating you're only cheating yourself as my teachers used to say but you know what they're right you are only cheating yourself this is a real test of what you can do how will you know this vocab copying from your book class lesson is a complete waste of your time i want you to really test your knowledge for today allons mes petits donc ce qu'il faut faire par section 1 2 3 4 et 5 qu'est ce que c'est en anglais, il faut traduire toutes les choses ici en anglais pour moi, s'il vous plaît. Pour numéro 6, c'est toute seule, il faut traduire I want en français, d'accord Et pour 7, 8, 9, 10 et 11, il faut mettre le mot dans le bon espace pour compléter la phrase. Voilà, donc aujourd'hui, la note d'admission, c'est 8 sur 14 parce que c'est difficile aujourd'hui. Um, il y a aussi un défi additionnel ici. Et parce que c'est d'or jeudi, pour le défi additionnel, il faut traduire numéro 11 en anglais. Qu'est-ce que c'est en anglais? Si tu peux traduire la phrase en anglais, je vous donne une note de plus. Voilà. Alors, donc, bon effort, mes petits chauffeurs. Vous avez 4 minutes. Voilà. I am getting better. Vous avez 4 minutes pour faire ça. So, put me on pause for 4 minutes, guys. When you think you're done, restart the video and I'll go through the answers. Bon courage, mes petits. On y va. Allons, mes petits. Right, let's go through our answers. How did you find this today? There's a lot more like into English. So I think it was slightly harder than normal. Let's see what we've got. Alors, donc, numéro 1. Ce soir, c'est très similaire. Il paraît que numéro 2, demain soir. Donc, ce soir veut dire... Tonight or this evening, like fine. There's one word for evening and night in French. Et demain soir, c'est tomorrow night or tomorrow evening. Two marks for that. Bon effort. If you got those two, you've got to know these time phrases. Alors, numéro 3. Quand voulez-vous se retrouver? Alors, donc, c'est les mots de question qui sont importants ici. Quand, eu et qu'est-ce que. Donc, quand voulez-vous se retrouver? When do you want to meet? Alors, où voulez-vous se retrouver? Where do you want to meet? Et qu'est-ce que vous voulez faire? Is what do you want to do? Voilà, right guys, five potential marks for that. Numéro 6, I want, you've got to know this. It's a jingle bell. It is, je veux. Voilà, simple. Alors donc, et 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, il fallait compléter les phrases avec les mots qui manquent. Donc le premier, est-ce que tu tues your clue? So what matches to two? It, it could be this, potentially. Is it that you want? But you want, it's a bit like pigeon English, you know, you want, and that's it, the end of the question. Um, I'll accept the in this space, but it's not the ideal one. Est-ce que tu viens is ideal, which means do you want to come or are you coming? Est-ce que, est que tu viens? You're going to come? Alors, numéro huit, tu veux nous accompagner. Donc, il faut dire... Est-ce que, est-ce que tu veux nous accompagner? Which literally says, is this that you want us to accompany? Which is how you say, do you want to come with us again? Another way, it's completely normal in French. Alors, bon effort, if you got these two, we've got a lot of gaps now, not that much English. Alors, donc, um, je veux les magasins, c'est, alors, c'est difficile, c'est lui-ci. Now, here is your clue. 
because there's different ways to say this, but su is the normal way for masculine. You add this extra t if there's another vowel, so it can only be a vowel here. This goes je veux faire les magasins cet après midi, which says I want to do shopping this afternoon. If you got that, well done. Alors, il y a deux questions qui restent. Numéro 10. Où est-ce que tu veux se retrouver? It would make sense here. It's got to be though. You can't have Vian here. Where is it that you're coming? Yeah, right. I'll allow Vian here as well. But it's not quite right. But it does make grammatical sense. Et finalement, numéro 11. Just three words left. What have we got left? I'd like to see this. Non, non. On a utilisé ça. On a utilisé ça. On a utilisé ça. Alors, allons, er, and devant. Are you on course for 100%? Let's see what we've got. Donc, nous, this has got to have the ONS on the end. Nous allons se retrouver devant le supermarché à environ 8 heures. Voilà, that would be the perfect answer. Guys, give yourself a mark out of 14. Bon effort. And here is the extra challenge. We're going to meet in front of the supermarket at about 8 o'clock. You've got to have the word about to get the bonus mark there. Right, guys, bon effort. Give yourself a mark out of 14. 8 would be a good grade today. If you've got under 8, you need to go back to last lesson, have a practice of that vocabulary, and then restart the lesson after this vocab test. If you're 8 or above, bon effort. Let's carry on today. Allo mes petits, right guys, so you have smashed through our vocab and you know it, let's put you to the test with your reading skills. Now remember, when you look at difficult texts at GCC, don't say help guys, you need to say help, think about help today, use the help to help you, this is what you'll need to do when we look at these texts. Allo mes petits, je vais expliquer ce qu'il faut faire, this is all on your sheet, it should be on the second page, have a little look at it. Allo, right, so... It's confusing the way the text looks and the way I've done the activity. So I've done a horrible big arrow like this on your sheet. So on the text, you're meant to put the letter in this little space. But I just think that looks uh, messy. And if you make a mistake, you've got to scribble it out. So rather, I've put it down here. So what you need to do is who's going to which place. One, two, three. Obviously, that's not the order. So put the number here next to the thing. Donc, ce qu'il faut faire, il faut lire le texte ici. Et il faut décider quel endroit où ils vont aller. Par exemple, on va faire numéro 1 ensemble, d'accord? Donc, écoutez-moi, je vais lire le texte, même si c'est petit. Donc, ce soir, je vais aller à un match de foot avec ma mère. Tu veux venir? On va arriver au stade à 20h. Regarde ici. So, it says, look here, and it should link to a website, which is supposedly what we've got here. Let's have a look at this text. There's a few clues about where they're going to go. Tonight, <coughs> I'm going to go to a football match with my mum. Do you want to come? We're going to get to the stadium at 8 o'clock. Late kick off that. All right, so, um, anyway, where was I? They're going to a football match uh, and he's going to get to the stadium. So, he's not going to the Centre Commercial because this means a shopping centre. Ordinateur portable dernier cri. He's not getting a computer or a mobile phone. It's got to be this one. Look, we've got the little football here. And then it says, Logis et Denis. So it's got to be this one. So number one, this one here is going to be number one. Boom. See what I've done. I've matched text one to the right place. Next one, tu es libre demain, je vais faire les magasins. All right, faire des magasins. Which place is talking about that? You need to match them up. Ça, c'est activité 1. Alors, activité 2. There's some nice vocabulary in here that I won't have taught you. They always put this in the GCC, some authentic stuff. Donc, ce qu'il faut faire, il faut lire le texte et il faut trouver le français par les phrases ici. Alors, your extra challenge today is a simple one. You've got Kazim's text. All you need to do is translate that. Guys, I've given you 10 minutes today. So, on your portable, set a minute up pour 10 minutes. Et, when you're ready for the answers, recommencez-moi. Bon courage, mes petits. On y va. Allo, mes petits. Right, guys, if you start me, you're ready for the answers. Let's have a look at this. You had to match up the text to the right places. Now, the tricky thing here was they didn't really say the names of the places. They just gave you one like this. And you had to work out from what they said, whereabouts they'd go. They're trying to be cool by giving you a website to look at um, to try and be down with the kids, uh, unlike me, who naturally is. Alors, donc, le premier, on a déjà fait ensemble. Celui-ci, c'est OGC de Nice. Voilà. La deuxième. Tu es libre demain. 
je vais faire les magasins en ville, je vais aller ici, dis-moi si tu veux venir, car c'est here, your clue is this phrase, faire uh, les magasins, which is to go shopping, where can you go shopping? Voilà, ici, le centre commercial, which is how you say the shopping center, center of commerce, the commerce center. Voilà, alors, la troisième, on va faire du patin à glace ce week-end. Tu veux venir? C'est ici. Après, on va manger au fast food. So, this is what they do in the GCC. They'll give you a weird sport that, like, you might have done, but a lot of people won't. Patin à glace veut dire ice skating. So, where could you do that? C'est Ici, complexe sportif Jean Buin. So, you do it at a sports center, which is what you've got here. If you've got a skate park, oh, unlucky, because that's a better match for number four. Have a little look, yeah? Mes parents vont aller au cinéma. Je vais faire du skat. Tu peux venir, voici le site. So, I won't allow swapsies for that one. Alors, numéro 5. Tu as des projets pour dimanche soir. So, remember, projet isn't projects. What projects are you doing? I'm doing a science project. There we go. That's my impression of you lot. Voilà. So, it's not projects. It's plans. So, this one is saying, do you have plans for Sunday night? On va voir ce spectacle au Palace Nikaye. Ça va être trop. Ce sont des acrobats franco canadiens Tu veux venir. So, all of this talk about a spectacle or a show with acrobats. It's got to be Cirque du Soleil en France. Voilà, right. I went to Cirque du Soleil. Uh, I think it was at the Royal Albert Hall. And it was really good. I also went to Cirque Bazaar at Wimbledon Theatre. And that was 10 times better. It was amazing. Alors, et finalement, la dernière chose. Je vais jouer à des jeux vidéo ce soir. Tu veux venir chez moi? Oh, au fait, tu veux voir mon nouveau portable? Uh, le voilà. So, here we go. It's talking about playing video games. It's talking about um, a new phone. So this, the website's got to be this one here, which is tough because the only clue you've got is ordinateur, computers, portable, which is phones. But then you've got this phrase, dernier cri. Now we know dernier means last, but it's got another meaning. Let me get onto it on the next activity. Voilà, mes petits dons. <coughs> Excusez-moi. Bon, activité de c'est ce qu'on a. Tell me if you want to come. Dites-moi si tu veux venir. Donc, dis-moi is tell me. Dis-moi la vérité. Tell me the truth. Voilà. Alors, donc, you can come if you want. Tu peux venir si tu veux. If you want. Alors, have you got plans? You'd say, tu as des projets. Remember, we've talked about this word. Comes up on the right in exam. It says, tell me about your projects for next year. And it means plans, not projects. Latest trend. This is the one I just talked about. So, dernier means last, like le weekend dernier, l'année dernière. Dernier, masculine, dernier, feminine, same word. Latest trend then, they say, dernier cri. So, dernier can be last, but it can be the latest. And then a cri is, means like to shout about something. Crier is the verb to shout. Like um, in medieval times, you had a town crier before you had newspapers or before you had most of the population couldn't read, a bit like you, Tom Shield. So, what you had was a town crier You'd stand there and shout at the news. A crier, because they shouted. Uh, and this is what this verb crier is in French. So here it says latest shout, which I love. Like the last, what everyone's shouting about the last things. Like a trend, everyone's talking about it. Dernier cri means the latest trend. A uh, circus is a suck. And then finally, those could be ice is ce sera tout. Voilà. Allons, mes petits, right. Excellent effort. You've done the reading. Now, we're going to take away a bit of the control. We've got a bit of a tougher challenge que je vais expliquer en France. Donc, maintenant, c'est une activité de cut. Ici, vous avez le hyperlink. Donc, il faut um, taper sur celui-ci et il va vous demander un code. Voici le code. Copy and paste it. Don't type it in because obviously it's so easy to make a mistake. Ah, donc, avec ça, tu auras l'enregistrement que on va écouter aujourd'hui. Alors, donc, il faut 8 ou plus aujourd'hui. Ça, c'est le cible. 6, ça va, mais 8 ou plus, ce sera génial. Alors, donc, on va écouter 1, 2, 3, 4 conversations et ils vont dire où ils vont aller au cinéma, au restaurant, à la piscine. Ils vont dire quand, ils vont le faire l'après-midi, le soir, demain. Ils vont dire avec qui ils vont. Donc, avec mes parents, 
avec mon cousin, avec ma soeur, ils vont dire comment ils vont y aller. Donc, ça veut dire comment, how. Donc, euh, train, bus, voiture, euh, vélo. Euh, ils vont dire euh, où ils vont se retrouver devant le cinéma, dans le restaurant. Et finalement, ils vont dire l'heure à 9h, à 10h, à 11h. Alors donc, il faut compléter la feuille selon l'information qu'ils ont dit. Et vous avez un euh, une défi additionnel ici. Voilà. Donc, pour la défi additionnel, quand vous écoutez euh, l'enregistrement, comment dire pas bah, tube en français, the tube station, c'est là, ça. comment dire tout ça en français. Alors donc, ça c'est l'explication. Put me on pause now, follow this link and see what you can do, guys, and then fill out our grid. If you haven't understood how to fill it out, just rewind and listen to me again. I give some good examples to help you out. On the next few slides, I've got the transcript. So when you're done, restart this video and I'll go through all the answers, but I'll show you the transcript first. Good luck, guys. I want six or eight. Bon courage. On y va. Hello, mes petits. Right, guys. So here's our transcript for one and two. Read it through, check your answers, see if you've got all the information, put me on pause as you do it. Alors, et l'information pour 3 et 4, same thing again, read it through and put me on pause. I don't think this is particularly hard today, it was just fast. Did you get it all? Alors donc, les réponses, so I'm just going to do these all together. We're no class, there's no point in like doing it bit by bit. So the first one, this is what they're doing. They've seen a film tonight, going with Alex. Uh, they're going to go by bus, meet in front of the cinema at 8 o'clock. Now remember, French people use the 24-hour clock. I remember learning this because I met up like pretty early on when I lived in France and we arranged to go out to like go drinking and they were like, what time should we go? And I was like, 6 o'clock, 6 o'clock's a good time. They were like, what? I was like, oui, à 6 heures, on va, on va retrouver ici à 6 heures pour commencer. They were like, six, six, I'm, I'm not going to be awake at six. I was like, what are you on about? It's because they always use the 24-hour clock in France. So I was proposing to everyone that we start drinking at 6 a.m., which is a bit early even for even for me. Donc, 18 heures is what I should have said. They always use the 24-hour clock in France. You've got to know it. Alors, donc, on continue. So number two, they're going shopping on Saturday morning, going with their sister by train. They're going to meet in front of the shopping centre at 10.30. Number three, they're going to the beach. That'd be nice. Tomorrow, uh, they're going with their boyfriend uh, by bike in the cafe. They're going to meet at 11. It's going to be too late to get to the beach then. It's going to be too busy. And then number four, they're going to a football match on a Friday night with a stepdad. They're going by yeah, the tube or the underground or the train, which they call a metro. They're going to meet at the tube station and they're going to meet at 7.15. Did you get all that? Excellent effort. Here's your extra challenge then, guys. Le métro is what you call the tube in Paris, and, like, loads of French cities have it. Um, so in England, like, only London, and I think Glasgow has got um, a little metro system. Um, but, yeah, in, in France, loads of cities have got underground networks. Marseille's got one. Pretty sure Lyon's got one as well. A banana, I can't remember. So, on metro is by tube. The station de metro is the tube station. And then to see you later, they say à plus tard, which literally means à more late. À more late, I don't know, is how you say see you later in French. Guys, brilliant effort today. Can you do this? We'll find out next lesson. Donc, c'est fini pour aujourd'hui. A really, really good effort today, guys. We're done for today. Well done for working so hard. I hope you and your families are all well and you're all happy and content. Remember, if you do have any problems at home or at school or anything else, your tutors, um, your head of year, we're all still here for you. So just send an email to make sure you get the support you need. Um, I hope to see you all back at school soon, you're nine. Alors donc, au revoir mes petits.